what is the rarest gun in Destiny? Well, in Destiny, rarity can be linked to three things. The percent chance of that item to drop, the difficulty of the challenge for that item, or if the item was only available for a certain amount of time. So, let's start talking about some items then. Let's start with the Galahorn. The G-Horn, the Galley, Chili Horn, or Heavy Ammo Synth, as it was commonly called, was the holy grail of weapons in Destiny Year 1. It was the go-to weapon for any PvE activity, even if that PvE activity had a burn that wasn't solar, well, the Galahorn solar burn, it was still more effective to use the Galahorn over any other heavy weapon, even if the burn was not solar. People who had put hundreds of hours into Destiny complained that they have never seen the gun draw for them, some even in thousands of the hours. But does that make this weapon rare? Well, Zhur only sold this weapon twice, one on the second week of Destiny's life, and again on the 49th week of Destiny. Most people, including myself, didn't buy the Galahorn in the second week, because either they couldn't afford it, or they thought that an exotic weapon in their heavy slot is a waste of an exotic. So, if you were unlucky with getting the Galahorn to drop and didn't buy it the second week, you wouldn't have ever used the Galahorn for 343 days into Destiny's life cycle. But does that fact make this weapon the rarest in Destiny? Well, the Galahorn had the exact same drop chance as any other exotic, besides the ones that come from the bounties. You never heard someone who was missing a Galahorn, Plan C, and a Universal Remote complain about not having a Universal Remote. You know? This is because the Galahorn was such a sought after weapon, people would notice its absence and complain about it. So, was it Destiny's rarest weapon? I don't think so. Now, let's ramp it up a bit. Let's talk about the Praetorian Foil. Now, if you just heard of that name and thought, huh, what gun? Then that's exactly my point. This gun has a legendary fusion rifle from completing the Oracle section in Hard Mode Vault of Glass. This gun had such a low drop chance that many Year 1 players, including myself to this day, have never held this weapon. It is estimated that this weapon has a drop chance of around 5%, but the fact that such a small amount of players have it, I feel the drop chance is around 1%. Another reason this weapon has dropped so few times is because back when the player cap was level 30 and Vault of Glass hard mode was relevant, very few fire teams actually did hard mode due to its challenge. Although there were multiple cheese strats to complete the oracle section, in relation to the amount of players that played Destiny at the time, not many actually even attempted hard mode. But this is still not the rarest gun in Destiny. The Necrochasm. Do you have it? Maybe. Have you heard of it? Absolutely. This exotic auto rifle has an absolutely unreasonable way of attaining it for the actual power this gun has. To start off, it comes from the Dark Below DLC, which came around December of 2014. At this time in Destiny, most people were quitting because of how lackluster and poor the game initially was. Then, inside a mission in the Dark Below, you had to kill a special knight, which wasn't hard. Luckily, you could kill him once every two minutes, probably, but you had to get a special draw from him called the Husk of the Pit. This special item was actually a common auto rifle. Now, the drop chance for this item was bugged inside the game, and was a lot lower than it actually should have been. I got mine within two hours of farming, but I know people who didn't see one after multiple hours. After you obtained the Husk of the Pit, you would have needed to upgrade it with a special item given from being rank 3 from Crota's Bane inside the Dark Below DLC. After that, Eris Morn would give you the Eidolon Ally, a legendary auto rifle. From there, you would need to upgrade this weapon all the way and obtain a final item called Crux of Crota to evolve it into Necrochasm. This item was only dropped from Crota on hard mode, and even then it was not a guaranteed drop. I was able to get mine within my first 6 kills. Most people though, were either unable to complete the activity due to its difficulty, or were never lucky enough to get the Crux of Crota to drop. Not only this, but after people realized how ridiculously useless this gun is, people stopped caring about it and never bothered to get it. But is this the rarest gun in all of Destiny? Close! But there is one more that I believe is rare. The Supremacy. Some of you may know this weapon, some won't. This is a legendary sniper rifle that had a chance to drop from a Queen's mission. The Queen's missions were only available from September 14th to October 6th, 2014. Now that sounds alright and everything, but let me talk about some of the specifics of this event. The quests were at level 24. During this time, most people had one guardian above this level, maybe two or three depending on how lucky and how much they played. Now on one character, you can complete five missions a day, 
which doesn't sound too bad in terms of getting the supremacy. If you have three characters above level 24, that's 180 chances at getting the supremacy to drop within this 12 day time period. But here's the catch. Most people after the second or third day stop doing the missions. The guaranteed rewards from completing the missions were either a legendary helmet or a legendary chest piece. That's it. Most people got both the first day, so as you can see, why would someone want to do 15 of the same boring repetitive missions a day when they already got the only gear obtainable? And most people didn't even know about the supremacy. There was no mention of it, no one knew it even dropped. So they stopped caring. On top of this, it took me just over 25 missions to get my supremacy to drop, which means the supremacy on average had around a 5% chance to drop from completing a mission. So let's put everything into perspective. The supremacy had a 5% chance to drop from a boring mission that was able to be done 15 times a day, which most people didn't do more than 10 times. The missions were only available from the period of September 24th to October 6th, a 12 day time period. On top of all of this, some who did get the supremacy deleted the gun because they wanted materials to upgrade their vault of glass gear. With all these restrictions behind the supremacy, I believe it is the rarest gun in Destiny, and I am proud to own one. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. If you enjoyed this type of video um, compared to my other types, also let me know. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one.